Good afternoon from Irvin's Enchanted Tiki Land. Today, we're going to go on an adventure. An outdoor adventure. We are actually venturing outside in the southern summer heat. It is hot out there, but it's okay because we're actually going to be going to the coolest, coolest place in the Charlotte metro area. Literally, the coolest place. Yeah, no, we, we, we don't mean like it's hip. We mean like it's actually the temperature is a lot lower. We're going to... Reed's Gold Mine. The first gold mine in the United States. 1799. Let's go check it out. But this is a place um, that we would go on field trips to every year when I was in elementary school. It started out with this guy finding a giant gold nugget in a stream and he used it as a doorstop for a while until, until a jeweler friend of his bought it off of him for like the equi equivalent of what, like three dollars. It was something really cheap. Something really cheap. Uh well, here we are. And uh, there's quite a, uh, quite a number of families out here today. That's good to see. Always good to see at a historical site. Yeah, you know, I mean, maybe it's not all like what the, what the cool kids are doing. But it but is a very cool place. It really is. How you doing, Abby? I wore the wrong shoes. <laughs> I think you wore the wrong shoes. <laughs> See, this is just to prove that we were not lying. The guy actually used it as a doorstop. Okay, so the museum's closed. That part was a bust, but as we just learned, they are reopening it in a couple of weeks and it's going to be completely renovated and it's no longer going to be the museum of my childhood. You know what? It's okay. I'm excited. We're going to come back in a couple weeks when it's open and see what's going on. I always love these, these uh, wacky place signs. Eh? Deadwood, South Dakota, Denver, Colorado, Aberdeen Gulch, Colorado. So there's the locations of other famous gold mines around the country, obviously. Okay. See the mine entrance behind us as we're walking up to it. This this rush of cold it, air. It feels like, oh, it feels so good. You know what? I can't stand anymore. I'm, I'm going for it. All right, go for, for it. it. Go for it. She's going for it. She really is going for it. Oh. Linker at it. So I'm not quite sure what that means. Wow. Wow. Oh, that feels good. Oh, it feels so good. It smells good too, like earth and dirt. Wood. I have to hand it to uh, to a Disney Imagineering. Yes. They really got the smell of a mine correct on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Should we go down this way first? Oh, we have a choice. We have a choice. Let's go this way. There's a light. Let's see what's going on down here. So this is number four. This is vein number four listed as linker. So there's a drain there. You can see the water table will come up to that point, I guess. And then if you look up through here... It should be a backfield exploratory tunnel. Yeah, that's that's it right there, I think. The camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing down here. There's a mine tunnel way, way back up in there. Can you imagine like coming down here and working though? So this is a pneumatic drill. This is why we need to fund the state park system. We are down here with no tour guide and a pneumatic drill that looks cool as hell and we have no idea. Because it's not, it's not in the paper. It's marked as number six. <laughs> it says it right there. Okay, cut that part. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was always so scared to go into the mine part, no matter how many times I did it. So I was just like, this is the time that that like, scary ghost is going to just jump <laughs> right out and get me. <laughs> well, they say these here mines are haunted, and at night you can hear the sounds of lonesome prospectors echoing down through the halls. Oh, I think those might just be screaming children because this is a tourist trap. So it is about 90 degrees outside and it's about 62-ish in here. Feels so good. I don't want to leave again. Let's live here. 
Here we are in the Morgan Shaft. No, it's not named for Morgan Earp. It's, okay, I don't know who it's named for. Someone named Morgan, apparently. But we are currently 50 feet below the top of the mountain. So I'm gonna shoot- Top of the mountain, top of the hill. Top of the hill, mountain hill, you yeah. know. Okay, well there's that there's that trussle up above. You can see it has a bucket that would uh, be lowered down here to take things out. And right next to it is a little ladder. Oh yeah, we're rebels. We're going out the wrong way out of the mine. What, big look, you wanna fight about it? Oh, no, now we... This way? Okay, maybe there's a reason why you're supposed to follow along the path. <laughs> I'm sure we won't get lost. Um, no, we came down from... Thank no. You. Well, that sh... Uh... Wait a second. Hell. Okay, it's a little slick. There's some moisture on the uh, stairs. I see daylight up ahead, which of course means heat. No! <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my little mine apartment. <laughs> oh. It's a bit of a climb. Definitely. And here we are. We have emerged from the gold mine. And remember how I pointed out that trestle that would lower the bucket down? Well, here it is. When we were looking up at 50 foot mine shaft, this was actually the structure that was above us. And there's the grate that let down the light. We're at the Reeds Gold Mine and Tetanus Museum. <laughs> Well, that's staying in. <laughs> that was a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I love nature, Kate. <laughs> I can definitely tell. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful out here. Ah. So if you notice, like, we're looking down at the ground a lot during this, it's because... <laughs> it's really steep and it's really rocky. And it's gravelly and slick. And again, I did not wear the proper shoes. No, you didn't <laughs> see what she should have done. She should have worn sneakers like me because I don't have oh. There is the sawmill at it. So that is another entrance over here. Come on, come on. Can't go down into that one. Hey, let's go check it out though. Sawmill Ada is my Mumford and Sons cover band name. <laughs> All right, Marilyn, let's go. So this is a uh, recreation of the original doorstop. It's coming home with us. It's coming home with us. It's Lift with your legs. With Lift with your legs, Abby. Come on, you can get it. It's not coming home with us. Oh man. So here's um, sort of a pay roster. I mean, look at that. You know, a 10 hour day, eight hours of actual work, how many feet they got through, and what their pay was. So, like a dollar. Can you imagine all that work for? A dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. Dollar <laughs> fifty. Damn entitled centennials. We are now going to pan for gold. Well, Matt Ooh. is gonna pan for gold. He's gonna like make us really rich and he's gonna oh, find yeah. all the gold. All right, have you ever done this before? Uh, yeah, we did it like one time last year. Oh, so you don't need my help. Uh, yeah. No, not at all. Because I remember every single thing that they've ever told me. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these people around me. Well, I think they're all trying to jump my claim. <laughs> 
You having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. You're so quiet. You're so inconsistent. Like, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm looking for gold, you know? I mean, I'm not just doing this for fun, okay? We gotta, we gotta eat this month, okay? That was our last three dollars and twenty cents that we spent on this thing. <laughs> so you know, if we don't find gold, well then they're gonna foreclose on the farmhouse. If I don't find some gold, little Cletus will go without shoes and and Xbox games. Do you want to do that to little Cletus? Do you? Just one question: Who is little Cletus? Plunge it in the water. Pull out of the water. Plunge it in the water, pull it out the water. Yeah. No, really shiny, I guess. Okay. Uh, well. You had fun though, right? Of course we had fun. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. always fun time. Thank you very Thank much. You. Have a good day, guys. Well, you Thank too. you. Ah, so it was a bus. It was a bus. We didn't find any gold. We didn't find any gold. But we had fun. We had fun. We have moved about five minutes down the road to this awesome little coffee shop in Locust. The tiny, tiny town of Locust. Not only is it a coffee shop, yeah, they also have wine and comic books. Let's go check it out. Chosen Mango Iron Goddess. Mango Iron Goddess. That is your new nickname. Mango Iron. La yeah, last week you were Eddie, now you're Mango Iron Goddess. Nice latte. Fantastic. Um, I would sleep with like. See, the cool thing about coming here is that not only do you get delicious coffee, you also kind of get a show too. Cheers. We yeah. earned it. Mm hmm Walking up those steps outside the mine. Panning for gold. <laughs> and poorly, you did a poor job of panning. There was no gold in that pan. That's all there was to it. I can't make gold appear in the pan. Poorly. Yeah. I didn't see you stepping up to pan for no gold. See That's what I, I have to say. Yeah, okay. All right, so that was the daily grind and uh, really, really awesome coffee. And uh, we'll put a link down in the description, so uh, check that out. Front rows, uh, rock star parking. <laughs> I got some rock star parking. This is Little Robert's place. They have. 30 some beers? Hello. <laughs> they have like 30. How many, how many beers do we have on draft today? About 30? Yeah. yeah. Best best craft beer bar in Camaris or Mecklenburg County, let's be honest. They even have movie posters on the ceiling. So we have our beers. Abby, what did you get? I got the Victory Brewing Company. Oh, Victory Brewing Company, Pennsylvania. The Kirsch Goes, Goza Ooh. or Gozer? I prefer Gozer. <laughs> I got the Kirsch Gozer. Did, did you choose the form of your own destruction? Is I, that what you're saying? I did. I think so. And it is in this delicious glass. Uh, I got a uh, 26 Acres Brewing Company, which is a local brew uh, here in Cabarrus County. Uh, this is their pale ale. Really, really good. Crisp, bright, flavorful. Mm. So we're having a great day. Cheers. We got 
quesadillas. Barbecue chicken quesadillas. Oh, look at these. I am so hungry. I want to stop filming and just eat. This will be gone in about 30 seconds. They do open mic nights here. And as you can see, four songs each. My question is, is that four songs max? Or is that like four songs minimal? Nobody leave this place without singing the blues. We got a to-go box because I couldn't finish my quesadilla. It was like way too big. But I'm wondering if this will fit in the back. Look at the kitsch. Look at the kitsch. Well, that was a fun day. It was a fantastic day. Yeah, we uh, saw some cool history, we drank some good beer, had some good coffee. Really great tea. Mm -hmm. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> He's stuck in the car. <laughs> That's why he don't go in the windowsill. Satchel, what do you think of this? Yeah, exactly. Come on. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So until next time, whatever happens, just roll with it.